Love is patient, love is king. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Hi, Brady. Take you, Lindsay. Take you, Lindsay. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Take you, Brady. Take you, Brady. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to in you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You've declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent to you both with his blessings. What God has now joined together, no one is to divide. I said the afternoon, congratulate Brady and Lindsay. I thought you might like to do the same. Our grandma once shared this perspective with me early on in my marriage, and it's so profound when you think about it. Lindsay, if you put Brady first, and Brady puts you first, then you're both first. First told me your name I 
didn't hear what you said Bet it was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end Down the aisle Every moment stole my breath That you could see it in my smile Should have known it was you I would love until the end I don't know Where this road leads All I know Is I want to go with you sure things I am sure I want to live it with you If you look into my eyes When our time down here is spent It's in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end Brady, I originally planned on getting up here, cracking a couple jokes at your expense, maybe telling a story or two to embarrass you. One of those stories uh, ended with you on a balcony in Panama City Beach pounding on your chest, screaming, I'm an animal, for all the beach to hear. But we aren't here to share stories of the past. We're here to tell stories of the future and celebrate the future. That future's Lindsay. Lindsay, this man deserves the world, and I know that's why he met you. You push Brady to be the best man that he can be, and I've seen him grow so much over the last five years. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you too. Brady, you were the brother I never had, and I can't really put into words how much your friendship has meant to me. My name is Shannon, I'm Lindsay's matron of honor, but more importantly, her twin sister. I know it's very obvious, <laughs> but it's a really special day and we can't thank you enough for being here with us. <laughs> Many times I tried to sit down and write a funny speech with tons of embarrassing stories about Lindsay, teasing jokes about Brady, but I couldn't do it. Every time I would get started, I would just tear up, thinking about all the sentimental, mushy memories <laughs> my sister and I share. I would think about how proud I am of the smart, successful, beautiful woman that she's become. And I would realize how lucky Brady is to be the one to continue making memories with her for the rest of their lives. Lindsay is a giver. Anyone who knows that knows that she is the best sister, cousin, aunt, daughter, granddaughter, and friend that you will ever have because she gives her all in every relationship. All of her compassion, attention, empathy, love, sometimes all of her attitude and sass as well. <laughs> But hey, it's a package deal. And now I know she will be the best wife and will give her whole heart to being Mrs. Hess. Brady, I am so excited and happy to officially welcome you to the family. You have been a perfect fit since day one, and I know that you and Lindsay will take care of each other. Growing up all my life, close friends and family said, you better watch out for those three younger brothers because one day, they're gonna be bigger, stronger, and faster than you. Basically, they're gonna hand you your lunch. But no matter how big or strong or fast these guys get, uh, I promise Big Brother will always have your back with that and through marriage. And, and Lindsay, you're in on that mix too. So I got your back. I'm not much of a paper guy. I'm more of an electronic guy. And so Lindsay asked me a couple of weeks ago to please not use your phone. Can you please write your speech? So I did. Get it out. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Good one. 
<laughs> uh, so I'm sorry, Lindsay, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, so Brady, let's, uh, let's talk about you. So I, I, uh, we're really, really happy to have you uh, to join the family. I know you're a wonderful man. You'll treat my beautiful daughter like gold and with the respect, kindness, and love that she deserves. And please do so. And Lindsay, you're an amazing woman, a wonderful daughter and a beautiful bride. I do remember the day you and Shannon were born and you immediately captured my heart, even though I couldn't tell the two of you apart. As I watch you two get married today, I'm filled with pride and confident that you're about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness that only comes as man and wife. So Lindsay, I'm so happy for you. I wish the best for both of you. I know you'll have a beautiful life together as a married couple. I want to tell you how blessed I believe that this family really is. It's, it's been quite the honor to watch this family grow. I want to let you know that marriage is not easy. You're going to have to work at it. There's going to be some hard times. There's going to be some difficult times. You're going to have to put each other first, and that is important. You have to think of the other one first before you think of yourself. Success, money, and material things will provide you with a certain type of security, but ultimately those things are temporary, temporary and they're certainly not guaranteed. Your commitment to each other, your children, your family, and most importantly, God, is what will ultimately sustain your relationship and keep it strong when it is challenged, and it will be challenged. Lord, we give you thanks and praise for your many gifts and blessings you give to us every day. We thank you especially for this blessing of Brady and Lindsay as they now are married and they now are continuing the legacy of two families. And we ask you to bless us all as we sit here together, as we celebrate. Mrs. Brady and Lindsay
Yeah.